So over the summer, Colleen Ballinger was getting called out for being inappropriate with minors in group chats, as well as on stage during her live shows as Miranda Sings. She was called out for other things, but people's main concern was how she acted towards minors. After a couple weeks of getting called out, she did two live shows, and those were her last ones. And I'm sure she knew they were her last ones because she was very nervous and emotional throughout the shows. It was also pretty tense. I'm sure the fact that she was getting called out so much, and because she knew that these were her last shows, you could tell it was a lot on her. She even had her husband Eric come on stage and he never comes on stage and he seems like a pretty shy guy, but even he was getting pretty emotional on stage. You married? Yeah. <laughs> to the best, best woman on the planet. But even though she was getting a lot of hate online, the crowd at her live shows were being super supportive and were even giving her standing ovations. When she did the change from Miranda Sings to herself as Colleen, the crowd went crazy and were cheering her on and giving her a bunch of support. And overall, the crowd was just being super supportive and I think that really boosted her confidence. Possibly a little too much. Because only a few days after her live shows, she posted the infamous Toxic Gossip Train video. Her quote-unquote apology video. If you didn't know about Colleen at this point, you knew about her now because this video went viral and not for any good reasons. We've seen so many bad YouTuber apologies, but this definitely takes the cake. This was definitely something else that nobody has ever seen before. So after posting that quote-unquote apology video, Colleen laid low and we didn't see her on social media whatsoever. The only time we really heard from her was when she would speak out through her lawyers about something else that would come out like some other controversy. Like when those old clips resurfaced of her doing a wicked performance as Miranda Sings during old live shows where she painted her face black slash green. That was a huge controversy, but she came out through her lawyers to say that it was actually green face paint that she used. It was just dark green face paint. And that's when she cleared up that she was doing a performance as Miranda Sings dressing up as Elphaba, the bad witch from Wicked. And then when people noticed that Toxic Gossip Train was on iTunes and other streaming services for $10, Colleen spoke through her lawyers to say that she did not put the song on iTunes and that was somebody else. And then after that, things were pretty quiet on Colleen's end and nobody really heard from her. Then in August, Colleen was spotted at the store, Ross Dress for Less. Someone tweeted, My friend saw Colleen Ballinger at the store, I'm screaming. And then she included a photo of Colleen at Ross Dress for Less. Ross is a well-known discount store and people thought it was strange that she was at a discount store. When people saw this tweet, they thought it was maybe a PR move for Colleen to go to a discount store to seem more relatable because she's so rich and has so much money. But she's always shown in her vlogs that she loves a discount and will buy cheap things. So it doesn't seem out of character at all. Plus she's always talked about growing up poor and buying things cheap and sometimes that kind of thing just sticks with people no matter how much money they have because that's just what they're used to. Also just because she's rich doesn't mean she can't spend money on inexpensive things. Also, her Finsta slash private account on Instagram got leaked. And although it's not confirmed that it's her, many of Colleen's friends and family follow the account based on the suggested accounts when you go to the profile. Also, when you go to the about section on the account, it says that the account was created in July 2023, which was while things were going down. And when people noticed the account and were making posts about it bringing attention to the account, the account's bio and profile changed a few times. When it was originally seen, the bio said, I miss it all so much and the name was me. It did kind of seem like she wanted the account to be seen, especially with the bio, but at the same time she changed it when it started gaining attention. It's not crazy that she has an alt account because of how long she's been active on the internet, so it makes sense that she would still be active and posting even if not on her main account. I've even seen some theories that because she was vlogging daily and vlogging every moment before she left the internet, she might still be vlogging now but just not posting the vlogs. Or maybe she is posting the vlogs and just keeping them unlisted or private. If she has a Finsta on Instagram, then I mean it's possible. Also, her best friend Corey has been posting it on his Instagram pretty actively these past couple of months, but he appears to be living his best life in Massachusetts and no longer in Santa Barbara, California with, with Colleen. And it looks like he's working for his friend Jonathan at a theater he owns. I see people showing him a ton of support for getting away from Colleen and living his own life since he was Colleen's assistant 
for a while and he also lived with her a lot and they were pretty much joined at the hip but he was also called out for messaging minors and he was pretty much doing what Colleen was doing whether Corey is as popular as Colleen or not if Colleen's gonna get in trouble for what she did then Corey should too because it seems a little misogynistic when Corey started posting people thought that Colleen was using Corey to test the waters for her comeback but that doesn't seem as likely anymore she hasn't made her return yet and based off of Corey's Instagram it looks like he hasn't been in California for months so I doubt they're really scheming up a plan for her to come back at the moment then sometime last month a photo was circulating of Colleen at LAX airport after a Colleen Ballinger fan account on Twitter posted it saying that it was recent I'm not sure why they posted that with that caption but it turns out that photo was not recent and it was from last year 2022 and this is the same comment that posted that photo last year then recently Colleen's sister Rachel posted a photo dump on her Instagram and from her Finsta account Colleen was seen commenting Colleen commented you're so pretty and perfect I love you but she's since deleted that comment for whatever reason which is weird because it's such a tame and sweet comment to her sister so I wonder why she felt the need to delete it then a few weeks ago two people tweeted that they saw Colleen at the movie theater when they went to go see the Taylor Swift's Ares tour movie one person tweeted not Colleen Ballinger at my heiress tour movie theater i'm uncomfy i want to go home someone commented asking if there was anyone with her and the original commenter responded saying yeah there was a guy and she was talking to the two girls next to her too so maybe they were there with her too or she was just making friends lol i don't know and another person tweeted why was colleen ballinger at my era's movie then just recently a tiktok was shared of someone at the movie theater filming someone who looks a lot like colleen they don't show her face so it's not a hundred percent confirmed but it definitely does look a lot like her from the side profile. Colleen is a Taylor Swift fan, so it does make sense that she would be there. Also, the outfit does look like something Colleen would wear, especially the sparkly boots. That seems like something she would wear to one of her live shows. And she doesn't have her long hair, but she has talked many times about wanting to cut her hair short, so it looks like she finally did it. And the guy she's with at the theater is rumored to be her friend Stu. It seems like Stu is her assistant and has gone on recent tours with her this year. In pictures posted on Instagram, Instagram, Stu is often wearing those chunky white Fila shoes, which the guy in the photo is also wearing. I also saw somewhere that this movie theater is confirmed to be in Santa Barbara, which is where Colleen lives. People are wondering if Colleen is coming back soon. People seem to think that with the Colleen situation dying down and with Vlogmas coming up as well as her birthday this month, she might be making her return soon. Every birthday, she does a charity fundraiser for childhood cancer, except she did get exposed for how shady the fundraiser was since she'd have her fans donate on a platform that puts the money into her bank account. Then it's her job to donate the money. She has always announced how much money is raised, but she has never shared a single receipt as far as I'm aware, specifying how much she actually donated. The platform she hosts the fundraiser on also deducts a percentage of the money donated as well, and she's never said if she matches that deduction or not, so it's just all around shady. So it would be really hard for her to come back with a charity fundraiser, since now people don't trust it. Also, another shady thing about this fundraiser is that the fundraiser is still open, and Corey even has the link to it still in his Instagram bio. If someone were to donate money to it anytime recently, Recently, who knows what would happen to that money? It would probably just go straight to Colleen's bank account and stay there. Colleen's brother Christopher and his wife Jessica, who also have their own YouTube channel, The Ballinger Family, are now putting their videos behind a paywall since they've been getting so much hate. So Colleen could also do that to make sure only her fans are watching because it's less likely that someone who hates Colleen will pay monthly to watch her videos. So it would pretty much be a safe space for her. Also, when Shane Dawson came back to the internet, he slowly made an appearance through Ryland's videos and now he's back to posting regularly like nothing happened. So maybe Colleen will do something like that like through her siblings videos especially the Ballinger family since so many people comment on their videos and post about missing Colleen so it would be a safe space for her there for the most part even though it would not be a safe space for Chris and Jessica they'd be getting so much hate for that. But let me know what you guys think about this entire situation in the comments and I will talk to you in the next video.